Okay, so we're going to take a simple problem. Like, let's say we have a loan for $150,000. And let's just say the interest rate is going to be 4%. I'll write that decimal point zero four. We'll change that. The number of years, we'll make this a 20-year mortgage. And we're ma making an assumption that there's... Uh, Payments per year is going to be 12. So in other words, there's 12 monthly payments. So what's the actual payment going to be? We already know how to do this. Equal PMT parentheses. The rate divided by the payments per year, comma, the number of years times the payments per year, comma, and the loan amount. That will give us the amount. So if you borrowed $150,000 and you paid 4% interest for 20 years, you'd have about a $900 payment, a little over that. Now, I can do ABS parentheses around that to give it a positive number. So we see $908. And of course, at the moment, May not actually be rounded to the nearest penny, so I can take that whole function and round it to two decimals. And now it looks to the penny. But that's not what today's lecture is about. That's all well and good, but today's lecture is going to be let's take a look under what if analysis and see the scenario manager. So I'm going to add a new scenario. This gives me some different possibilities. And the scenario name is going to be 30. Actually, I'll call it 30 years. Because it's going to be a 30-year mortgage. And I'm going to get that by changing cell right here, I6. And I'm going to hit OK. And what am I going to change it to? I'm going to change it to... 30. Hit OK. Now I'm going to add another one. It's going to be called 15 years. I'm changing that same cell I6. 15. And of course, since I've already created those two, I want to add one more called 20 years to get it back to where I started. Again, changing cell I6 to 20. Actually, I'm going to add one more. I'm going to have 15 bi-weekly. In that case, we're going to get 26 payments. We're also going to change the payments per year. So now, in that case, I6 is going to be 15, but I7 is going to be 26. So I've created now four different scenarios. I haven't run them at all. Now here's the show button. So I've got, for 20 years, 12 payments a year, so every month, paying $908. If I change that to 30 years, I just click on Show. And it shows me that it's a $716 payment, a bit cheaper. For the 15 years, it's going to be about $1,100, so an extra $200 to go from 20 years down to 15. But I'm curious now, the 15 bi-weekly, I paid $511 bi-weekly. That's less than the 1100 per month, um, but it's 26 payments a year. That will give me all those possibilities. So that's how we use Scenario Manager. And your job is to recreate this file, which I'm now going to save as
call this mortgage scenario. And I'm going to upload that through threadedpodcast.com.